What's up, guys? Joe? Yeah, how you guys doing? All right, quick video. So, I've been like messing around with DaVinci for it's gonna be close to a year by now since I started messing with it, and like I'm very I'm super happy with it. I like the all my overall experience with DaVinci. Um, obviously, it took some getting used to from you know coming from Premiere Pro, but going over to DaVinci has been pretty simple, right? It takes a time, obviously, but you know, once you get the rhythm of it, it's uh, I've been having a good experience with it, right? A very good experience with it. Now, uh, for the most part, when you're messing with audio, um, audio is probably one of the most important things you want to learn how to like adjust before anything else with the with editing, in my opinion, right? So, if you're starting to learn how to edit, obviously, you know, learn how to edit, but before you start getting into like uh, doing visual stuff, you know, learning how to do animations or whatever, uh, I think you need to get the audio part out of the way first ASAP, right? Like uh, how to clean up bad filters and so on and so forth, right? Because that will definitely uh, keep people watching your videos, right? Uh, that being said, I got a car video here and I've been using a lavalier mic and the lavalier mic that I have is pretty sensitive at times. So the audio can be kind of like uh, distorted and they can clip. Now, you have some options up here about like uh, the ultra the level of loudness that you want with with your video right now with youtube from my understanding they want a target loudness of negative 14 meaning that like the overall loudness of the video should be at negative 14 right that's where it standardizes your videos right i made videos on about that topic already and i'll link it in the descriptions or in the comment section uh explaining to you what that is right but uh from my understanding even though the target loudness is negative 14 for youtube uh at least for me i've been aiming to be at negative 16 right so there could be like a two de two decibels buffer from like the main pink uh, from loudness that they want right that way my audio doesn't sound too distorted right so that's what i aim to do when you do that uh davinci does kind of like normalize your audio in, in a way to like make sure you're in that like loudness target area so when you go over like the uh, the peak area that you selected, in my case, I wanted to be at negative 16. It lets you know when you're peaking, you're going past it, right? So it does that. Uh, something I do in Premiere Pro is that I added a limiter every time, like, I edit because, you know, to protect my ears from, like, loudness, right? But the thing is, like, uh, in DaVinci, when you say your target loudness, it almost does kind of do a little bit of adjustment for you, right? Since you're already telling DaVinci, I want my audio to be this loud, negative 16. It does a little bit of work for you to make sure it kind of like stays in that target range of what you selected, right? But in this case, uh, the lavalier mic that I'm using, uh, it does clip a lot, right? So this is where I want to show you how to use the, um, the limiter in, built into DaVinci, right? In combination with setting your target loudness, make sure you look into that. You also want to combine that with your limiter in DaVinci. So let me see, move myself over a bit. So if I play this, people that were there were all mainly all old. They were like fans of Elvis. So I guess like, hey, you're old. Do I have kids or grandkids? You're the dog. <laughs> so yeah, this is going past my target uh, number, right? So it's clipping, it's going past negative 16. So in my ears, it does sound pretty distorted. Now, there are two ways to like protect your hearing. You know, you are able to like dim it here. This is like the master volume. Events there. You usually have car shows there and like just all kinds of little like pop-up events happening all the fucking time. Yeah, I mean like it, it reduces like the volume of the output, but like the input or the overall volume of like the video doesn't get affected, right? But for the most part, this guy I don't mess with. I just leave it at 100. Because I want to know what I'm actually hearing the output wise, right? So for the most part, this I live it by itself, right? I don't mess with it. That's just me. But for my videos, what you can do is uh, figure out which audio track. In this case, is audio track one. People hanging out or whatever. So they had like a nervous fest. So if you go to dynamics here, double click that, you know, you get this filter. And uh, right here, you have a limiter. Mm, exactly what it is, just a uh, Elvis fest. But it was like small. Was sh so if I click on the limiter, uh, by default, it gives me a negative limit of 21. Negative, so that's a lot. Yeah, it's just like one short street, so there wasn't too much to show. So that, yeah, that's way too much. So, you know, you want to crank this up close to like, in my case, just negative one, right? Because that does help. But So as I talk, I'll fucking show you as much as I got, which is very little, right? I guess the cool thing about this event was that... Uh, or you could just like lower it down to like, you know, you get underneath negative 16. Basically the whole point of this thing is like, you want to like adjust it to where you're comfortable to edit with, right? They did have a lot of like, um, adoptions, uh, booths for puppies, which kind of makes sense because the majority of people that were there were all mainly all old. They were like fans of Elvis. So I guess like, hey, you're old. So you can see here how it dances around, right? It's still like, uh, the capricious starts to kick in, right? So you are able to hear like the audio still 
uh, in the sense of like the peakage, right? But it does get reduced, so it doesn't fuck up your hearing. Your hearing. Kids here adopt a pet shit. <laughs> I don't know, but we didn't stay too long. They had like shows, obviously music, you know, a lot of impersonators singing. All right, so you can see here it definitely reduced the like the audio big time, right? Uh, this method, I have a limiter when I'm doing a rough cut, right? I don't use it to finalize my audio. Usually, what I do is um, I do my rough cut here, but I add a limiter to basically you know keep my ears from exploding, right? Say when I'm ready to do like the final like um, the edit, what I do is go back to my edit page here. Uh, you know, I select everything. I can go to edit, say copy. I already have a template, a timeline sequence that's, uh, you know, that if I go to like the Fairlight page, it already has filters that are pretty much applied to this timeline. So all I have to do now, if I go to the edit page, I go to edit and paste. So this is this like uh, timeline already has like the audio filters applied ahead of time. I already have like a multi-band compressor. I got de noise reduction, a vocal enhancer, uh, some other uh, compression already set up here, right? So this is like my final like uh, edit before I render it out. It already has like a audio cleanup. I guess the cool thing about this event was that uh, it did have a lot of like um, adoptions uh, booths. See like so pretty much it's already the target area which is what I wanted a negative 16 right because like this thing is like a template so I just drop in after I do my rough cut you know I drop all the footage in here and like all the audio filters are already good to go but again you know um, when I do my rough cut I do add like a dynamic limiter here basically to help protect my ears right so that's kind of like the whole point of this video is that like uh when you're doing a rough cut go to fairlight and then like you know double click on dynamics and then like you know set a limiter right that one when you're doing a rough cut and like the audio is too loud or whatever diff before you start adding like the compression say like you know multi-band compressor and all this other stuff add a limiter so you don't damage your hearing right for the most part i'm in the final edit where i have all my audio filters you know good to go I still do use a uh, limiter, but this time I use a little, very little mild uh, limiter. I just go to like negative 0.1, right? Just to like, if there was like a peak, then it gets cut off, right? So it doesn't get distorted, right? Just almost like a little, a protector, right? Be like, nah, you're not crossing this section right here, motherfucker. So, you know, just to like keep the audio from getting too distorted, right? So anyways, that's why I will uh, use the limiter in uh, DaVinci. Uh, I, I like it. Obviously, it's great. Good software, <laughs> all the good stuff. Hey, if you find the video helpful, here's some QR codes that if you want to help me buy a coffee. Uh, please, if you send some money, you know, just like make sure you select it as uh, you're sending it as a friend. <laughs> Save money on the fees. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.